Hello, sports fans. This is Steven here with Sports Plus. Plus, I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Eastern Conference semifinals Pacers taking on the Knicks. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this matchup here, you're looking directly at Indiana and how they were able to evade elimination from the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks had players down, stars like Dame Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo. So, you know, naturally, that wasn't the best shot that Milwaukee had, but Indiana did what they had to do to get past. And then you're looking at uh, the New York Knicks. They were able to take advantage of some injuries for the 76ers. Joel Embiid wasn't himself, but he was still able to play. But you're looking at them taking advantage of the mismatches that they had, and they did what they had to do. Let's face it, Jalen Brunson is showing you that little guys in the NBA can do what they do. You're looking at uh, Hart doing what he does from the three-point line. It's just a collective unit from the Knicks. This matchup here, this is going to be difficult because the Indiana Pacers can go point for point with the Knicks. They can uh, make this game up and down. Uh, the interesting thing about Halliburton is, from a point guard's perspective, he can get himself going. He can get other people going. So you don't know when he's coming down the court, what is he going to do? Is he looking to get Miles Turner involved? Is he looking to get one of the guys off the benches involved? And one of the things, when you saw uh, Toppin go off, off the bench for 20 points, they have a strong bench. They have a Athletic bigs that can run the floor. So heavy with the fast break points, heavy with the offensive rebounds. So when they go up, their dunkers are looking to get it and go directly back up and dunk it or either lay it up or either kick it out for a three-pointer. The Indiana Pacers have the deeper team, but the New York Knicks have the better talent, if you will. When I think of the Villanova Cats, when I think of the guys on that team, that literally can be sharpshooters. They can be drivers as well. It's so many different things. The advantage that they had against the 76ers, they offensively rebound. They crashed the board. It didn't matter if it was a fast break or not. Everybody for the Knicks is crashing the boards. That means point guards, small forwards, shooting guards, power forward centers. Everybody's crashing the boards, hitting the deck for the ball. So you got to ask yourself, when it comes down to it, the New York Knicks have the advantage as far as the better team overall. But the Pacers have the advantage for the better offense. It's going to come down to who plays better defense, I believe, because I feel like the New York Knicks have a better style brand of defense. They're going to have a tough time because, um, you know, Jalen Brunson's undersized. Josh Hart, you know, these are undersized guys that not really, you know, have the length on them. But I think that if they can consistently score the way that they're scoring, the Pacers are going to have problems because they're going to have to keep up in the up and down games. Um, I feel like Jalen Brunson is the MVP of this series. I feel like Josh Hart is going to piggyback on that with his threes and his prowess and his defense. So I feel like when it's all said and done, the New York Knicks have the advantage. And I think this is going seven games or six, six or seven games. And I think that the Knicks are going to come out on top. I feel like the, the magic that they have when they play in the garden, the energy, if you will. You saw the energy when they played against the Sixers when the Knicks fans invaded Philly. You saw just how passionate the fan base was. That helped carry them over. And I feel like Jalen Brunson and company are going to carry themselves. They've been doubted when they lost Julius Randle. They've been doubted when they lost Robinson for a little bit. And he came back. They've been continuously digging, digging, digging. And now it's their time to make some noise. Thibodeau is going to have them defensively on point. It's just a question of the offense, how much they score. Is it a grinded out game where 80 points? Or is it a game where in the 110? So, all you Knicks fans, get in the comment section. I'm picking you to win. All you Pacers fans, get in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And leave your prediction in the comment section. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus. We'll see you on the very next video.